In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five heptagon shape infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks when I click the first heptagon comes uh, with the icon, the shadow effect, and then you can add the option number and the detailed text. When I click with a different color, the second heptagon comes uh, with a bigger size, uh, taller than the first one. Then comes the third one, the fourth, and fifth and then you can see here i've added arrow which uh, uh, represents the growth all right and then i've added some shadow effect here or some shade effect i've created a few more slides with a small variation i can i've just put the arrow mark something like this all right and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do it however uh, you can use the older version also so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any light color background then go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the heptagon. You can see here, select the heptagon, draw the heptagon. All right, shape outline, make it no outline. And I'm going to make the height and width as 1.5. 1.5. You can see here, both height and width the same. And then you can shape fill, you can make it wide. And I'm going to duplicate this slide before duplicating. Let me just do a 3D format for that right mouse click. Go to format shape and go to the effects under 3D rotation from the presets. I'm going to choose this one, which is isometric top up. All right. So you end up getting a shape, something like this. Now press control D to duplicate and I'm going to change this color to somewhat some darker color here. You can see here some dark gray color and then go to the effects go to the 3d format the depth i'm going to increase to say 200 so you end up getting a shape something like this and place it here all right exactly and then select this white bring to front and place it exactly on top of that now i'm going to duplicate this one once again press ctrl d hold the shift key reduce the size and give some different color okay any color of your choice and place it exactly in the center so it looks something like this all right so once this is done i'm going to select this all press ctrl d to duplicate all right and then i'm going to increase the depth from 200 to 300 and you can see here it has increased so i'm just going to select this and place it exactly at the bottom send this to back and then just put it something like this place it here something like this all right just yeah and then you can just change the color now or you can change the color later also let me just select the second option press ctrl d now this one i'm going to change the depth from 300 to 400 all right again i'm going to select this and let me just sorry select the other one also all right and move it up send this to back and place it again giving the same space all right so this is my third one press ctrl d to duplicate now this one i'm going to change from 400 to 500 all right and again select this let me just select once again yeah and go to format send to back and then again place it here exactly like this and then one more last press ctrl d to duplicate actually i should suppose to start from not from 200 maybe from 100 so this is going too much tall so let me just select this one all right press ctrl d to duplicate instead of 200 i'm going to change it to 100 so you have to start with 100 till 500 all right so let me just select this bring it here and place it exactly like this so let me just change the color now 
shape fill i'm going to put some blue let it be the same color this one i'm going to make it maybe a purple and this one i can make maybe a red color or orange color whichever color you feel better select that one and press ctrl a to select all make sure that it is properly or center aligned and then this doesn't look good so i'm just going to cover it go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle at the bottom only this much part or you can increase a little bit shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give the same color as the background color so you can see here uh, we have completed the basic design now it's time to add some text and the icons so if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can go to insert icons i can choose any uh, five random icons all right so maybe this is four and this is five so let me just select this one bring it here i'm going to make the height and width as 0.5 only all right if you want you can just change the graphic fill to white and then start placing one by one here something like this all right and this also goes here and then this goes here and if you want to add some basic shadow effect you can just add the shadow effect then go to insert text box i'm going to type 01 choose any good font i'm just going to choose helvetica if you want you can make it bold increase the size right aligned and then go to insert text box equals to lorem within bracket one so some detailed text i'm just going to add it here unwanted text i'm going to delete it and right align reduce the size you can see here and put it here exactly and change the color to match with the color of this heptagon and select and bring it here press ctrl d this is the second option you can place it here press ctrl d this is the third option again ctrl d this is the fourth option and this is the fifth option all right and then you can just change to two this is three this is four and this is five and again depending on the color you can just change the color to match with the heptagon all right so you can see here i'm just matching the colors all right so i think this is blue let me just put blue so you can see here we have completed the design and if you want to add some arrow or something like that you can take the help of the freeform shape so go to insert shapes i'm going to select the freeform shape let me just increase the size further and then from here i'm going to choose and click here then here i'm going to choose again somewhat increase then click here increase the size click here increase the size and double click here all right and then i'm just going to choose end arrow type is this one and arrow size is the bigger one and you can just change the color to sorry not the fill color the outline color to maybe black and you can increase the depth you can see here something like this if you want you can just change some gray color also and if you want to do some basic uh, animations so what you can do is you can just select let me just zoom out for example i'm just going to select this and i'm going to group it press ctrl g so you can see here let me just group once again press ctrl g to group it okay and later on we can send this to back so it becomes one group actually you can see here one group so this group what i can do is let me just go to the animations enable the animation pane add animation more entrance effect maybe i can select the stretch click ok and stretch you can choose it from bottom so it comes something like this all right so now let me just select the second option ctrl g to group it 
the third option control G to group it the fourth again control G let me just group it once again I think it has not grouped properly and then I'm going to select the last one and group it and then select this one and bring to front all right so now it's very easy for me once this is done I can group this also if I want you can see here press ctrl G select this both or if you don't want to group you can just add the animation right now let me just select this one again animations add animation I'm going to select the both uh, the mo more entrance effect and then the same stretch click OK and stretch I'm just saying from right and this should happen after previous so now with the help of the animation painter I'm going to copy to the second one and select the text copy to the second one then select this one apply to the third then again select this put it on third then I'm going to apply for fourth and then again this goes here and the last I'm going to put it here and then let it be here like this and then this arrow also you can select the arrow and you can wipe it all right and that should happen after previous so let me just play when I click the first comes second third fourth and fifth then the arrow comes